Greetings everybody, the Child Just 99 here, and well today I want to share something well a bit interesting and quite scary with you guys today. Well, because well I was playing Pokemon Moon, my copy of Pokemon Moon, and um, you know I was just going through my boxes to organizing all my Pokemon, and I one I I have all my Ultra Beasts as you know they have them as their own box. And you know, I, I, I for some reason I just decided to go back to look at them, and just seeing how, and just seeing them made me realize, why are there multiple copies of all the Ultra Beasts except for Guzzlord? Because well, well as you guys know, if and spoilers if you haven't played Pokemon Sun and Moon yet or gotten far into the game, but but I highly doubt that, considering the game's been out for the games have been out for a while now. But basically, throughout the story, uh, well, as you actually, well, basically, after you beat the, um, you know, the main story, um, you're called by Looker to um, help w with this investigation of Ultra Beasts. And actually, well, you meet one before you meet the first one, Nihiligo, before even then, maybe about like halfway through the story, you meet Nihiligo, and then later on, you see a whole bunch of Nihil Nihiligo in this. I forgot the name of the place, but um, where Solgaleo or Lunala, aka Nebi. Whichever version you got takes you. I forgot, the, I forgot the name of the place. I can't remember. Remember right right off the bat. But yeah, there was a crap ton of Nihiligos in that cave where um, Lily's mom was like, I want to say like possessed or with like the poison or so something. I think I think she was possessed. I think that that's what the thing was. But um, but Nihiligo is not the only one that has multiple um. Well, there's more than just one Nihiligo. All the older beasts, Fermosa, um. So Estila, Zerkatry, Cartana, Buzzwall. They all have a multiple cut they all there's all multiple versions of them or multiple multiple of said Ultra Beast. Save for Gust Lord. But you maybe realize or think. You know, why are there multiple copies? And then well, it it kinda hit me. Ultra Beasts are supposedly Pokemon from other dimensions, correct? And and well, according to to how Neo Ligo got there through some sort of portal, it could be possible that there are multiple of of, of you know said Ultra Beasts in their dimension. There could be multiple copies, and only maybe only one Guzzlord you know went through the portal. So there could be like a lot more Guzzlord. Now that's a scary thought, considering how very powerful the Ultra Beasts are. The, very, the Ultra Beasts have very high sweeping potential. Especially Pokemon, or well, Ultra Beasts like Fermosa and Zerkatry and Cartano, they have incredibly high um, attacking stats. And yeah, yeah, and considering that there's, there's multiple versions of them, can only mean one thing that potentially there's, you know, that these Ultra Beasts are just common Pokemon in their dimension. And that's a scary thought. Nihiligos are the freaking Zubats of their dimension. And that's scary considering how powerful they are, which could mean that the Pokemon in their dimension could be even more powerful than they are. And that's a really scary thought, like I said, considering how powerful, well, at least stat-wise, how powerful, um, you know, the Ultra Beasts are. And so considering that there are Pokemon that are more powerful than them coming from their dimension and that they're just simply potentially you know everyday Pokemon in their dimension that's a really scary thought he said so yeah just imagine that just you know you know just everyday oh you know it's a it's, a, it's a, just a you know random Zerkatry Zerkatry I'm pretty sure has one of the high space special attacks out of all Pokemon in, in general and in their dimension eh that's just, that's, just an, that's just an average Pokemon you know not, nothing special about that you know just you know, people in their dimension could compare Zerkatry to how we compare Pokemon like like Pidgeys or Starlies or literally whatever common Pokemon like Pokemon that you see when you first start your game or when you first start your journey, whatever whatever you want to call it. So yeah, just imagine them comparing Pidgeys to Zerkatry. That's a really scary thought. Uh, but yeah, but anyway, that's just kind of food for thought for you guys. Uh, definitely let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Do you? kind of agree with what I have to say and how Ultra Beasts are just could be, you know, um, you know, average everyday Pokemon in their world because how there's multiple variations of them? Or do you think that I'm just looking overlooking something and that the Ultra Beasts are, you know, more powerful po Pokemon in their dimension? Because, well, you don't really, I'm pretty sure there is no 
two of the legendaries in any of the games, but only th only time I can I can think of is there was two Deoxys in uh, uh, Destiny Deoxys that movie uh, that movie came, that came out years ago, and I'm pretty sure that Deoxys was born. But yeah, that that's literally the only Pokemon that I can think of that there's been more than one of in you know the same um, I want to say like dimension. Or at least on screen time. I haven't watched the show in a long time, but I'm that's the only thing I can remember of there being more than one legendary. I mean Me Too wouldn't really count considering, you know, Me Too was kind of it's kind of you know, it's a man made Pokemon. It wasn't, you know, born a Pokemon, it was just it was created a Pokemon. Anyway, let me know what you guys think of in this in the comment section down below. This is real this is really quite interesting. Considering how Ultra Beasts can just be normal everyday Pokemon in their dimension, that's a kind of a scary thought. Meaning there's more powerful Pokemon over there. But yeah, anyway, I thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. This is Shadow Destiny 99 signing out.